probably already know what this is because it's probably in the title. But let's just say I've been waiting for this for about a year. The market on these kind of vanished. You couldn't buy a new one. And at the time, I was in the market for three of them. And we've been waiting and waiting and waiting to stand up. Another sight. here a brand new ICOM ID RP 4010 V which is the third generation of ICOM D star repeater this is a UHF model, and <laughs> look at that, yet another box. All right, this one is already open. Didn't even have to cut that one. Looks like it is a unified instruction manual for all three models, the VHF, the UHF, and the 1.2 gigahertz. Um, <clears throat> there we have our new UHF repeater. So there's some notable differences between this new repeater and the old repeaters. I have a couple of the old ones here. We have a VHF repeater over there. And there's our old UHF repeater. And same power still does D-star, and in order to get it on the air, you also needed this controller. So you needed the controller connect to one or all of the different modules, VHF, UHF, the 1.2 gigahertz, and that would get you connected to the internet, your internet plugged into that, and that would do your internet linking for the D-star repeater side. This new guy, a little different. It is a controller, standalone. It is the repeater, and with an optional module, which we do not have at this point in time, it has an LTE modem that plugs in here. So that as a backup, or even as your primary internet source, to get this guy online, you can connect it to the internet. So this entire repeater stack consists of this and a power supply and an internet connection. So here we have our high-low setting. We have our power button. We have an SD card slot, and that can be used for your voice announce. Um, you know, good morning, repeater call sign. It will do a CW repeater call uh, announcement periodically as well. Um, I believe this is your internet. This is the connection for your LTE modem. And uh, this, this is again, is a UHF repeater. One other nice thing about these ones 
is they are actually a dual mode repeater. It will do VH or UHF D star, but if you have a non D star handheld and you tune it to the input frequency of this and it does not pick up any D star, it will spit out UHF. So you can use this as a repeater on standard UHF. Say you've got a Yesu or a Baofeng or some other manufacturer's UHF radio. Or it will do D-Star. It will do either. It does not do mixed mode in that if I'm talking D-Star, the analog UHF HTs can pick it up. It will not do that. Let's turn this guy around here. Get a look at the back. So here we have for the in uh, the LTE module, we have our antenna ports, another network port. This looks like it is. I don't know what the, one of these is transmit. One of these is receive. Okay, this is receive here based on this. This guy over here is our transmit. This is our 10 megahertz reference signal. And then uh, these are some other ports. So we have our USB for programming. We have our repeater. Uh, we have a service port. We have ground. And we have our DC input. So there we are. We'll cover getting this programmed. My hope is either this weekend or more likely next weekend. Um, actually racking this and putting this repeater deck on the air. I've got the duplexer over there. Uh, we tuned that the other day. And now we just need to power this guy up and get him up and running. All right, one last thing. Um, what else was in this carton was a USB-A to USB-B cable for programming you have your 12 volt power cable with some fuse holders you have some spare fuses you have an allen wrench some feet for the repeater itself if it's going to sit on a shelf or something and then they send you with a short uh, ethernet cable as well so you can link other units or something else so there was no cd like there has been in other repeaters um, so I'm guessing that's just an online download. I have not gone through the instructions yet. Uh, so that's what else is in the box when you open this guy up.